All right, everybody. Does everybody know what time it is? Short time. Short time. That's right. Very good. Thank you. All right, cool. Well, uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is Michael Forrest, and welcome to It's Shark Time. Now, before we get going, just a quick word about text messaging. I can't stand them. When I get text messages when I'm up here, it really throws me off because there's like a big wall of text in your face, and it can really, you know, really make you lose momentum there. So I have mine in the off position, and all that means is if you send me a text message, I'm not going to be able to see it until after the show is over. Once the show's over, I'm able to respond to it. But really, the very best way to get a hold of us is by joining our Discord, and you'll find the address right here, right below me, right here. Hopefully, I'm, I'm nailing it. I think I'm in the spot. Am I in the spot? Yeah. Of course, right below me. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, good. Excellent. Excellent. I got that good. All right, everybody. Now, if I could draw your attention to the microphone in your menu wheel, the very top of that is if when that micro is your microphone icon. And when that's clear, we can hear everything that's happening in your environment, and I think that's fantastic. We love being able to hear you guys laugh. We love being able to interact with you during the shows. If for some reason somebody, you know, one of our moderators or my producer turns it to red, that may mean that you have some background noise that you may not know about. Maybe you're having a conversation that's better suited for the campfire and you don't realize how far your voice can travel because we can hear you from actually pretty far out. You know, and we'll be hearing things like all the time, especially when we edit stuff for our, for our YouTube channel. We'll be hearing things like, uh, and when that kind of thing happens a lot, you know, one of our moderators or the producer will go ahead and mute you. If that should happen, don't worry, you can still uh, use that emoji uh, button there to express yourself. You guys are all familiar with the emoji panel, right? Yeah, let me see. Throw me up some emojis. Let me make sure you yeah, all have a handle on this. Let me see. Oh, audience. I want to make sure everybody's got it. All right, cool. All right, looks like you got it. All right, good. All right, very nice. Uh, I would like to reserve one of these as kind of a signal. Does anybody know what I like to use as a signal for when things go wrong? Let me see it. Hands. Put it up. Yeah, Dorian's hands. got it. Let me see. Anybody else? <laughs> let me see him popping. We got all those hands popping. Yeah. It's the one you're going to use to let me know in the event that something goes wrong. All right, so if there's some kind of issue going on, because a lot can happen in all spaces, sometimes we don't know about it. Uh, and so it's kind of your job as our audience to let us know when you're experiencing any kind of problems, like, you know, like uh, any kind of choppiness or the ceiling starts cracking or something like that. Or Sharky looks like he's going to jump into the audience and you're like, oh, no, he's going to attack. You know, you're going to need to let me know. That kind of thing. <laughs> All right. Also, uh, let's see here. So I've hosted uh, coming up on this month. It's going to be 800 events in all space. And you know what? That's a lot. Right. And in that time, the question I get asked practically oh. every day is, why are we here? So I like to start out this event by asking you guys that question. And if it's your first time here, don't worry. The answer is right down here below my podium. These three wonderful words that say it all. And you all say it together. It sounds just like music. All right. So everybody, why are we here? Feed a shark. Feed a shark. Chant it, people. Let me hear it. Feed a shark. Feed a shark. Let me hear that enthusiasm. Feed a shark. There we go. Hey, it's you. Keep going. Yeah, I'm dragging that bit out. I love it. All right, everybody. All right, we're going to feed a shark. We're going to need a shark. Unfortunately, we have Melvin, Buster, and Fang here to help us out with that. And, uh, they're in disguise now because uh, about a month or so ago, he uh, raised a question about something that we call organized crime. Then these guys outside show up. Don't pay much attention to them. Right, that'll only encourage them, right? Uh, and then our game stopped working the way it's supposed to, right? And we have asked you in the past, if you could go to altvr.com and in the very bottom of the page, click on that support. And if you enjoy the show, if you like Shark Time, just go ahead and fill out a support ticket and tell the admins, hey, you know, we really like that Shark Time. Could you help Michael Forrest restore it to where it's supposed to be? Send you a form letter because that's part of the dance that we're dancing right now. And all you have to do is just send a response and keep that going. Ask them how their day is going. And listen, I'm not asking anybody to troll all space, but I am asking for a response to a problem. Typically, in all space, the more people that ask for something, the more likely they are to make it a priority. And when you have something like this that only affects a small number of people, it can look like it's not a problem. But it is a problem when it affects our entire audience for every show we do. You know, we're talking about, you know, maybe a couple hundred people a week this is affecting. So we'd really like to see the issue get resolved. So if you guys could do that, that would be awesome. I understand a lot of you have already written in, and please understand that we're very grateful for that. That's awesome. All right, now, in, now let's see here. Now, uh, when I was uh, first started hosting events, and I became an all space event host because, well, my friends were starting to fall away to nothing. Right? They were getting real thin, and I needed a plan. So I became an all space event host, and I have hundreds of people coming through our events and experiences. And you know what? In that time. Oh, wow, you got a lot of background noise there, uh, Steam Night Punk. I'm just going to go ahead and mute you. Feel free to unmute yourself if you got something to say, right? But you got a lot of, lot, lot of background noise there, so that's the reason that's happening. All right, so, uh, yeah, so what's happened there was I was, uh, you know, uh, my, my friends were falling away to nothing. I became an event host. I thought it was the perfect plan, but you know what? Nobody was willing to help me feed a shark. 
And it's true. And I found out that the reason is you guys, you know, aren't willing to be a hero to help me save the world one truck at a time. You need some incentive. And we have that for you. Uh, we have it in the form of a 12 piece world building kit. Right? It's based on it's an aquarium theme. It's got all this kind of neat stuff in it. It's even got this bubble sound. It has an empty aquarium for you to fill any way you want to. And if you haven't yet seen this kit at the end of the show, we're going to take you out there and you'll be able to see the prizes for yourself. If you want to maybe come back another time and try to win it if you have seen the kit and you do want one which is what i'm hoping for all you have to do to be a volunteer on today's show is press the raise hand button that's about to appear on your lower right as if by magic because that's what passes for magic in vr all right so all you have to do is press that raise hand button right there now oh looks we got we already got three people on the list already all right any more than that we're gonna have what i like to call variety it's nice that's very good <laughs> but you just go ahead and press that raise hand button you can have a chance to win this uh, 12 piece world building kit. My producer's laughing already. It's going to be that kind of show, I can tell. When you guys hear a voice that's coming variety. from all sides, and you're like, where is that? Where is it coming from? Oh no, who's watching us? It's just my wife and producer. <laughs> she so helps us out with our special DMC effects and zombies. runs behind the scenes. And what's that, Marty? What do you say? Voice from beyond. So much like oh, dinner. Voice from beyond. beyond. Everybody say it together. The voice, the voice from, from beyond. beyond. Voice, voice from beyond. From beyond. <laughs> yes, voice from beyond. Excellent. Oh, all right, there we go. All right, got to give props to the producer. All right, well, you know, that must have worked because the list is up to six. Yeah, Melvin, Buster, and Fang, would you like to hear tonight's specials? Yeah, because we got a lot of variety tonight on the menu. Let's open up our menu and see who we got. All right, it went down to five and back up to six. All right, we have Miss Cutie Pie Ty. We're going to have we're gonna have up. And we're also going to have, uh, let's see, somebody named Lindsay. Lindsay, I hope I'm saying that right. And, okay, there we go. The list just, the list just shifted again. Uh, we also have uh, Vestigio or Vestige something. I can't see the full name. All right. So if I've called your name, come on up. But listen, if you need to recenter, now's the time because if you try it on stage, what happens is you end up back in the audience, and this is just awkward oh, for everybody. Oh, I gotta right? come up well, here. Well, heard somebody go no. Yeah, wow. All right. Wow. This is awkward. Look at all these people. This crowd is terrible. I gotta get back okay. on stage. All right. If I called the name, come up here to me. Say, you know, to safety. Let me go over here. Let's see. We've got uh, Vestigio four. Vestige. I'm curious. What happened to the first three? Why and they work out. What's that? You're you're Vestige 04, right? Yes, I am. All right, what happened to the first three? <laughs> uh, <laughs> they, they didn't work out. Yeah. yeah. All right. No. All right. How long have you been around all space for? Oh, um, the 04 stands for actually the year 2004. Uh, long oh, that story makes sense. backstory. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually was back new. In 2004. To... That would take a while to tell. <laughs> it's cool. Oh. No, and I'm okay. actually uh, really, really new to the whole Oculus thing and the all space okay. in general. So, cool. Ooh. Welcome to all space. How new are we talking about? Hmm? You too fresh? Like, did <laughs> you just that? join today? How how new are you? <laughs> no, um, about four days ago. Four days so. ago. That's really fresh. Let's ask the audience. Should we throw it back? Yes, people? it's really fresh. I am so sorry. <laughs> it seems comfortable, right? All right, we'll just go with her. Okay, cool. All right. How about you, Miss Cutie Pie Tie? How long have you been around all space for? I see that you're muted. You're gonna need to keep your microphone open for this. Oh, you just got muted again. Okay. Let's see. All right. They're trying to put you gotta keep try to keep that microphone open for us, okay? How long have you been so about space, around space seven months, but I've been gone for three months because I caught seven COVID, months, but you've so, been yeah. gone for three. What brings you back? Um, I beat COVID. <laughs> okay. Oh, you beat COVID. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Good. Well, congratulations. Yay. You know what? You didn't feel that was enough of a risk. Oh. You're coming up on our show. I respect <laughs> that. That's awesome. How about you, Lindsay? How long have you been around all space for? I um for about at least a week now. Week now. We got a lot of fresh people up there. Yeah. These nights yeah, like this I'm where I almost so feel sorry. bad. Most. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. Now, uh, let me, I, if I can ask you guys, you don't have to answer this, but I'd like to get some idea of where people are from. So if maybe you could tell me, like, you know, where about in the world you are. If you don't mind telling us, Vestige, uh, where are you from in the right. world? I, yeah, I'm um, from Washington State, uh, by, Washington kind State. of by cool. Seattle. Yeah. All right. So when I go like this, I'm crossing a country. That's interesting. Right. Very nice. How about you, Miss <laughs> Cutie Pie? Where are you from? That's funny, because I was going to say where Starbucks is from. <laughs> Oh, wow. oh, nice. Okay, very, cool. <laughs> very nice. All right. So you guys are internet neighbors. How about you, Lindsay? Yeah. Where are you from? 
Um, I live in Spokane, Washington, but I was born in what? California. Yeah, the Washington. Wow, so West Coast yeah. Woo. Washington and that's my cousin, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, my cousin. Go. Yeah, yeah that, Lindsay's cousins? my cousin. Yep. Oh wow. I hate to see families <laughs> break up on this show. It's terrible when that happens to everybody. Oh, it's oh, so sad. Family. All right, if everybody will just join me up top here by coming up this ramp. You're going to find that uh -oh. up top here, we have these three yellow X's set up for you. Uh -oh. If everybody would stand on uh -oh. one of these I'm yellow scared. X's. <laughs> yeah, well, don't be scared. This is why we're, we're here, everybody. The tank. <laughs> okay. You can just stand on this yellow X right just there. anyone? You know, All right. Anybody? Yeah, oh, there crap. you go. You're right over Fang. That's nice. Oh, wait. We got Miss Cutie Pie <laughs> Tie over Buster. And we got Lindsay over here over Melvin. Before we set out, Vestage, let me ask you something. Oh, you got to stand on that yellow X. That's critical. Okay. You don't, you don't want okay. to move there. All right. Now, okay. Vestage, let me ask you something. Do you consent to this? Uh, yes, <laughs> I do. You do. And you realize that's legally binding in all the countries. <laughs> I do realize that, yes. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. All right. How about you, Miss Cutie Pie Tie? Do you consent no, to this? No, English. No, I'm not English. Okay. Uh, oh, shit. You today here with us. That's that. See. <laughs> see. All right, we got to see. You see, we're very international here in the Shark Time. All right. Now, how about you, Lindsay? Do you consent to this? Yes. Oh, uh, yes, I do. Excellent. Excellent. That's good news. All right, everybody. Uh -oh. So we're going to ask you to I stay know, right? on top of those yellow X's and we're going to get started. <laughs> now, our audience gets to decide your fate right? because the future uh -oh. of all space is in their hands tonight. You're going to have to decide exactly how you want all space to go in the future, right? All right. And the way we're going to do that is by getting to know our volunteers by asking them some questions. Right? Some questions that we oh, prepared that will hopefully help you guys get a better sense of what they're all about. Right. Now we're going to start uh -oh. out down on, uh, on, let's start out with Lindsay. Lindsay, are you ready for the question? <laughs> yes, I am ready. I'm ready to go. Oh, you're ready. All right, excellent. All right, well, let's get started then. All right, well, uh, you know, uh, let's see here. Let's, let's go to question just for you. Here we are. All right, well, let's see. Now, if, if you're not aware, it's actually officially the month of, shock to uh, of Sharktober. It's true. This is a thing. <laughs> I said Shocktober. We should call it that, too. But I like it, that too. someone's giving me a thumbs down. Right. Ricard, wait, <laughs> why are you giving me the thumbs down for? What's going on? <laughs> Don't know? You're just giving me the random thumbs down for no reason whatsoever? <laughs> no, that's not good enough. I'm going to need to know why. Go and like do that. Instead of know. <laughs> Sitting there going like this, I need to know Can why. Can we feed him to the shark? Hands up. Yes. Come on, Henry, give me something here. You're sitting there going like this, and I can see it from the stage. Now I got the questions. No? No, you're not going to oh, tell shoot. me? Okay. All right, we'll, we'll let it go now, but you know what? I've got the curiosity now because I think I pretty much nailed the intro, but okay. All right, let me see here. All right. So, anyway, this month is Sharktober, right? And it's during this month, you know, sharks and humans alike. You know, explore and raise awareness about shark conservation, and they also, you know, just really kind of celebrate what it means to be a shark. Right? But we were wondering, <laughs> see, if there was a Lindsay Tober, what would that be about? <laughs> um, if there was a Lindsay Tober, yeah, what would what would it be like? Um, it would be. I'm trying to think. Um, you feel put on the spot. I, I would. What? You feel put on the spot? Um, no. Uh... Uh, we'll have to try hard. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, I think it. I think it would be. Oh, what happened? Hey, did everybody just like stop hearing Lindsay? Yeah. Just me. Yeah. And we stopped yeah. hearing Lindsay. Did, right, did Lindsay mute herself there? No, her her microphone's still up. But Lindsay, you're still wait, here. Wait, can, can we go. you hear me, Lindsay? Yeah. She's back. Oh, all right. okay. Been all spacey yes, this I, yes, I'm, I'm here. Um, <laughs> okay. okay, I just want to make sure you guys can hear me. If it's uh, a Lindsay Tober, it would be totally cool to rock in my world, dude. Okay. <laughs> all right, cool. Well, there we go. All right. Let's see. There How you about go. you, Miss Cutie Pie Tie? If it was Miss Cutie Pie Tie Tober, that's hard to say, <laughs> but what would that be like? <laughs> It'd be similar to Halloween. You dress up crazy, get free snacks, and party. <laughs> wow. I'm going to show you the sound of that. All right. Very cool. All right. How about you, Vestage 04? Vestage 04 Tober. That's a little easier to say. What that <laughs> a like? little bit. Huh? <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. Um, it'd probably be at a haunted mansion party. Oh, cool. Cool. 
um, you know, cold 90s house party thing going on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, things like right. that. And yeah, lots of music. Um, yeah, pretty boring, I guess, but yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Well, listen, I'm hoping that's enough to give our audience a sense of you. Now, we I need to preserve so. <laughs> the integrity of the Shark Time vote. We're going to ask you all to turn around and face that back wall, besides which it looks really pretty okay. for the audience when you guys do that. Oh. All right, so he's going to face that back wall. And no peeking. We've had a lot of problem with peeking lately. There will be consequences. Oh, tonight. shoot. All right. Okay. Now, listen, now, our audience now, oh, it's on you to determine the future of all space. All right? So if you support Lindsay over here, you're going to want to stand behind that fence right over there. We've got three fences. We've got three volunteers. This is going to work out until we get our voting <laughs> fixed. All right. Now we have Miss Kitty Pie Ty. All right, if you support Miss Cutie Pie Ty, stand behind this middle fence right here. If you support Vestige 04, go ahead and stand behind the fence that's right over on the end, right on the other side there. All right, cool. Now, we're going to give you a moment to get a position while I check in with our volunteer contestants. All right, uh, Vestige 04, <laughs> let me ask you something. How, how, you, how do you think your chances are? you think the audience supports you? Um, <laughs> I hope so. Um, at least one person. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's I'm okay. hoping at so least one. one. Out there. <laughs> you or have it's, just it's, one, I promise. As long as there's there. one, I'm good. <laughs> okay, so you've got a special someone in the audience. Okay, good, good to know. <laughs> right? Aww. See, uh, Miss Cutie Pie Ty, right? how about you? How do you think you're doing out there? I have no clue, but I hope the audience is with me. <laughs> okay, well, good. Right, that's good. Well, it's, it, it, I'll tell you, it's looking pretty good for you right now, so you might want to relax a little bit. Let's see, how about you, Lindsay? How do you Aww. think you're doing? I feel I feel somewhat confident. Hopefully, yes. All right. I well, see. That... That's good. Confidence is good. But let me ask you something. Do you have any plans later? Uh, oh, any uh, what? Sorry. And any plans, any plans for later? Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> no plans for later. Okay. <laughs> I uh, swear. Does anybody know where you are right now? That's like the most important question we ask here. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> You're not sure. Well, what I mean specifically is, is there anybody in your life that might press charges, kind of thing? Oh, <laughs> oh no. no, shoot. No. All right, that's good news. All right, Mrs. Producer, if you would do the honors, and Lindsay, if you give us a good scream on the way out, we're told it really helps the process. Scream? <laughs> okay. A good scream. A good, healthy yeah. scream. Makes the process uh -oh. better. There we go. Oh, that's right. Very well done. Oh, my God. Nobody knows how you guys voted. Go ahead, mix it up. Shuffle the audience, everybody. Oh, right, look at them all moving around. That's awesome. All right. Our volunteer oh. contestants can turn around now, face the okay. audience. Look at them all moving. They're all getting oh, situated crap. comfortable. If the audience can go oh. like this, just because I like the way it looks. Oh, We're just going like this. What do you say? Look at that. Oh, that looks awesome. Doesn't that look cool? Oh, it looks cool up here, right? We're just going yeah. like this. That's just awesome. Okay. All right. Aww. So we have an opening, everybody. All right. So if somebody would like to be a volunteer on today's show and have a chance to win a 12-piece world building kit, I see Drew's waving his hand very enthusiastically. So is Leslie Faye. All right. The way we usually determine this is where my eyes land first. So we're going to open up the menu and see. All right. It looks like it's going to be Drew, except he disappeared. Oh, no. He just moved. Okay. It looks like it's going to be Drew. All right. Drew, you ready to be on the show? Yes, sir. To the seasoning All right. Come on up. Let me ask you something, Drew. How long have you been around All Space for? Uh, I've been up here since probably like five months. They have to mess it Not up. a month. Okay. And were, uh, were you here since the beginning of the show? Yeah, I, I no, I won the um, I won one of them kits one time. Oh, you did. Oh, so you're a returning ago. champion. Oh, that's good to know. All right, excellent. All right. Well, let's have you come come on up this way. Follow me on up. All right, and maybe let's see how you do tonight. All right, cool. I have you up top here. No, no, right, I, I nice. actually was no, I was <laughs> the person that got picked in the audience. The win, okay. win the um, so, but you got one of the prize kits. Yeah, I got the prize All kit. All right, cool. It's good to know, all right, because we do something special if you happen to win tonight. Now, let me ask you, where are you from, Drew? I'm from uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia. Nice. Oh, well, I used to vacation there. That's nice. Uh, let me ask you this. Uh, you know, do you consent to this? Yes. You realize it's legally binding in all the countries? Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> Excellent. That's good news. All right, everybody. Let's move on and let's try to get to know our volunteers, see what kind of people they are, so we together can determine the future of all space. 
All right. So let's see. This time we're going to start out down by uh, Vestige 04. Vestige, are you ready? Uh -oh. I am. <laughs> Excuse me. Right over in the distance, you'll see the Ravenhall Sea Lab, and our lead researcher, Doctor Starling, who works over there. Last night, it last week rather, it was revealed that he was working on a mind control device, and it didn't really work out. It's kind of you know we did it to like confront organized crime, and it really became more of a change your mind device. And now he's nuts about all this, and we got to do something about it. We're working on it, right? but we need to know right? once you've made up your mind about someone, how do is it that you change your mind about them? Like, what does it take? Oh, <laughs> if they stab the me in the back, <laughs> that's Ooh, pretty okay. much it. Yeah, if they're okay. yeah, if they stab me in the back, or you know, Ow. they just you know start. Yeah, exactly. They start. Well, let me ask unnecessary something. drama. <laughs> let me ask you something, Vestige. How are you liking all space so far? Um, I like it. It's actually pretty fun. <laughs> Oh, good. I'm glad you feel that way. It That's is. Good I love it. I think it's fantastic. Oh, I'm so actually. glad to hear that. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, Miss Cutie Pie Ty, what do you say? Once you've made up your mind about somebody, what what makes you change your mind? It's like if I think someone's bad, I gotta talk to them, make sure that they're a good person. Other than that, I don't like people who are bullies. Don't I don't. Like I don't play that. Yeah. Yeah. At okay, all. How are you enjoying all space so far? It's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, okay. COVID's well, kind good. of like well, separated everybody. That. I get to talk to people now. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's good. Okay. All right. Wow. Surprising <laughs> answers. All right. Drew, how about you? Once you've made up your mind about somebody, what does it take to change it? Uh, they got to do some good deeds. Good deeds. All right. So they can redeem themselves if they make up for it by doing good deeds. Right? Yes. Oh, I like that. And how are you enjoying All Space so far? I love it. Love it. All right. Well, a lot it. of positive feedback about all space. That's awesome. Good stuff. All right. So we've asked these <laughs> questions and hopefully given our audience a better sense of what you're all about. Now, if you can oh, all turn shoot. around and face the back wall so our uh -oh. audience can vote on who they like. Oh, right. Crap. No peeking, please. I'm going in the shark. <laughs> it looks creepy, too. It looks really scary. All right, everybody, stand behind the vents of the volunteer that you support. So if you like gonna do uh, the... Vestige 04, the best, go ahead and stand behind that fence. <laughs> And yeah. Miss Cutie Pie Tai, who I just said no peeking. All right, stand behind the oh, center rail if you support Miss Cutie Pie Tai. We saw what you did, Miss Cutie Pie Tai. We, we no, I was trying to look at her to get her to do this with me. If you support Drew, stand oh, I'm sorry. right over there. Yeah. Okay, there we go. All right, now let's, while you get in position, we're going to check in with our guests and see how they're well. doing. Vestige 04, how do you think you're going to do? Horrible. I think you're going to do horrible. Flat oh, out. I think I'm going to do horrible. Yes. It looks I to think me like you got a lot of supporters. Right, let's see. How about oh, you, Miss Cutie Pie Tai? How is it you think you're doing? It's surprising. Oh, Lord. The same as before. I have no clue. Same as before. Right? Uh, you know, it looks like you yeah. might have lost some support, but you're doing okay. All right. Let's see here. Uh, Drew, how about you? How do you think you're doing? Man, I, I, I hope I'm doing good, man, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't it's know. Pretty, pretty divided, actually. If, if you just excuse me a moment, Mrs. Producer, can I get a count? Oh crap! It's so it close. Like? It is so close is right close. now. If it is. we were to feed Melvin again, it would yeah. feel bad. One yeah, minute. yeah. Well, let's see. So, oh. is that the way it's going, Mrs. Producer? <laughs> it is the way uh -oh. it's going. Yeah, no. it's the way it's going. Let me ask you, Drew. Do you have any plans later? Uh, I, I got to eat dinner. <laughs> okay, well, you're about to be someone's dinner. Let me ask you oh, if no. you know where you are right now. Oh, my oh, God. Hold up, hold up. Say that again. Is it, does anybody know where you are right now? It's the most important question we ask here. <laughs> no, I just woke up. I just woke up about 30 oh, minutes ago. Right. Oh, Close your eyes. Go back to sleep and give us a good oh. on your way out. Mr. <laughs> producer, if you would do the honors, please. Oh, All right, there we go. Shoot. Give us a good scream, Drew. You can do it. Thanks for that. That's awesome. Oh, no. Right. I'm well, surprised. The audience I'm could shuffle the audience. You know, mix it up. Everybody scatter. We don't want anyone to see how you oh, vote it. Gosh. Mix it all up. There we go. Everybody's oh moving all over the place. All right, our volunteer contestant can turn back around and face the audience. Oh no! Face your oh no! For their support. <laughs> look at them. Look at them out there. They're all innocent. You have no idea where they were standing before. No. I know. Never I love Henry you guys. Never <laughs> Let me guess. The message can I ask? Is Henry Card your special someone? Because he's doing all this. 
Is that the one? Oh. Well, yeah. he is now. Yes, he okay. is. Yes, <laughs> well, that was the guy that was giving us the thumbs down before, though. Oh, I mean, I, you know, shoot. Gotta, oh, come on, Henry. Question you taste it. All right, let's see. All right, everybody, we're down to two volunteers, and we need to determine oh, which one of is going to be our survivor I'm tonight. Surprise, we're What's still the future alive, of space girl. looking like? Right? <laughs> so, Either way, Washington let's... wins. <laughs> yes, well, going... exactly. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're both in the same state, everybody. That's interesting. Oh, my like, neighbor gosh. Neighbor versus neighbor. And you guys are cousins, right? <laughs> no, you dropped you their cousin. Oh, Oh, you lost the cousin, and how you feel? I are you, did. Like, sad about Lindsay it? was. She was the first are one you, out. Are you sad? Are, are you sad about it? Um, oh, not really. Kind of though. Kind of just I mean, you, yeah. It's not you, right? <laughs> yeah, wow, exactly. It's gonna be fun, everybody. Oh right, man, like, they're gonna be like there. They're gonna be enjoying some nice, maybe a backyard barbecue. Gonna, and one's gonna go up to the other one. They're gonna go, "Hey, remember that time you fed me to a shark? Remember that? Right? Good family time. Oh, All right, everybody. Shoot. So that's what it's like at my house because before we did this show, it, we uh, we had to rehearse a lot. So my wife, my mother, even my dad once they all got fed to a shark. In the name Ouch. of your entertainment. All right, so here we go. Everybody. Let's determine which of these two we're gonna survive. survive. And in order to do this, we're gonna ask them a oh. question. And this time, let's start out with Miss Cutie Pie Ty. Are you ready for your question? Ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> All right, well, yesterday, Sharky told me that he had the perfect day. He said it was absolutely amazing. And it dawns on me, answer to this must be different for everybody. We're all going to define what a perfect day is differently, right? So we're wondering, Miss Cutie Pie Ty, how would you define a perfect day? A perfect day? Probably be on yes. the beach with my friends, with some music and some good food. Nice. Well, that sounds like an excellent day. I like that. Very nice. And how about <laughs> and how about you, Vesta Joe? For what's your idea of the perfect day? Honestly, since I live a block away from the ocean, um, I can definitely attest to what she said. The ocean <laughs> overlooking the cliffside, you know, just taking in the nice, beautiful sunset. You know, I see. Gorgeous. I see. So, um, oh, when it gets dark, the you're, night you're sky. You're basically stealing her answer. Right. right? What? You're basically stealing. You're basically stealing her answer. Right? <laughs> I mean, I could give a different one, but yeah, that would <laughs> no, probably no, be right, my no, perfect think, day. Everybody. What does that say about vestige of a, as a person? I don't think oh. we have enough information here. I think we I'm need to ask stealing everything. No. <laughs> right, well, we, we definitely need to ask another question, and this time we're going to make it so that you can't steal from Miss Cutie Pie. Okay. Time. We're going to ask you. We're going to ask you good. first. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Okay. I am let's ready. Up our, let, let's come up with a good question, everybody. <laughs> come up with a good question. <laughs> or yeah. All right, let's see here. Let's see what we have here. All right, well, let's see. Uh, all right, well, Fang is a bit of a risk taker, and recently he dove deeper than he's ever dived before. And he started feeling really uncomfortable, and he got really sick. And when he came back up, he said, you know what? I'm never doing that again. Tell us something <laughs> that you've done in your life that you're never going to do again. Oh shoot! Wow. <laughs> you put on the spot. You feel put on the spot. I do actually, yes, so, because yes. the Live worst thing, yeah, the worst thing that I've ever done, and I'm actually still suffering for it to this day, is cheating. Um, uh, okay. yeah, I cheated in my relationship, and I'm never doing it oh, again. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. Well, um, you know, it's it's amazing that you admit that in front of like a huge audience. Right. And, and I know. <laughs> that's that the a... worst. Yeah, that's the worst sin that I've ever committed. So. Okay. So, <laughs> and, and, and you steal from your fellow volunteers. I think we're learning a lot. <laughs> right. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're All good. right. How about you, Miss Cutie Pie Ty? Do <laughs> something that you're never gonna do again. Well, mine's more like lighthearted. I went on this ride at Disneyland oh. and I bonked my damn head. So I'm never Ouch. going on that ride again. <laughs> yeah, right, I'm too often small refer for the your best. Head in that way? Oh, you often refer shoot. to your head in that way? Which one? Huh? <laughs> you often refer to your head in that way. You bunked your 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 damn head. You said. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh man! In the morning, when you Not get ready to go out to work, do you comb your damn hair? You know, do you think things like that? <laughs> if I'm oh. angry, like... oh, if you're angry, okay, all right. So angry well, brushing. That, 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 that goes in there. Right, everybody. I think we might have enough, but actually, let's. Uh, you know what? I think we got time for more. Let's let's ask him one more question. All right, let's see. <laughs> right. This time we're going to start out with you, Miss Cutie Pie Tie. Are you ready? Ready. All right, cool. 
Okay, let's see here. Well, uh, it, it's what would have it. Right? You found a sunken pirate treasure chest. Right? And in it, you found a magic lamp. You're polishing it, and you're thinking what a great score this is. And all of a sudden, a plume of smoke comes out of it, sparkly smoke. And there before you stands a genie. And if she's grateful that you're setting him free, he's going to grant you one wish. But there's a catch, right? There is an absolute catch to this. And that catch is that you only make one wish, right? and it has to be for somebody else. It can't be for you. We want to know who do you wish for and what do you wish for? Oh, I heard ooze from oh, the my... audience. Good. It was a it's, good one then. All it's right. hard because I have oh, two yeah. of them. Um... Just get the one. You're I know. Uh, I would take. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I would take away poverty. Take away poverty from who? It could only be for one person. For one person. Goodness gracious. Only one person. I was clear. So okay. is the genie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So where I live, um, I give food often to someone who's homeless. So I would give it to that person. Her name's. Oh Lisa. wow. Okay. Wow, you hear oh, that, everybody? We learned something really about nice. this cutie pie tie. That's nice, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. You look at all those Aww. hearts going up. That's all for you. <laughs> I all know. Right. How about you, Vestige I... 04? All right, what dark <laughs> secrets are we going to learn about now? All right, you've got one. Right. You can give it to anybody. Oh, man. What is I'll it try to it keep for? it light, but yeah, I got it. Okay. <laughs> um, I would end war for, end war. for who? Um, for what one person? Um, would it be a country? <laughs> no, it's one one person. Just one end person. For one per yeah, for one person. Ooh. Um. Well, I know a person in my family is actually going through a lot right now. I guess their own battle, their own war. Yeah. I would definitely okay. make it if I could. I would try to ease that burden from them wow. of what they're going through right, right now. So, yeah. Seeing some hearts going up there. Looks like you're winning over our audience pretty good Aww, there. But I, I don't think we guys. have enough. <laughs> we both learned something good about both of you that kind of cancels it out. I think we're going to need to ask another one. We're gonna need to get another one. one. <gasps> yeah, let's start out with you, Vestige 04, and see what we have for you. All right, okay. Let's see. let's see here. All right, now, here at Shark Time, all right, we, not all screams are created equal. Sometimes we get some good ones, sometimes <laughs> we get some bad ones. And we figured, you know, since we're nearing the end of our show and one of you is about to go out, we need to, you know, right. come up with, a, you know, give you a chance to practice. So if okay. you don't survive, Vestige, what's your exit scream going to sound like? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right, now let's see. How, how about you, Miss Cutie Pie Ty? What's your exit scream sound like? That's um... <laughs> well, that's good with the no, that was, that's oh, I, was there. I was transported, everybody. You saw my hands waving. All right. Oh, my God. That was very good. Strong body language. We like it. We approve. Oh, but I, I love we, it. I, I do think we need a little bit more. Do. Oh, for... do you think, what do you think, audience? Should we ask one more question? To get a real sense of them. Who doesn't have their mind made up? It's Who a big responsibility we're taking on. It's the future of all of these people. Getting more <laughs> thumbs down from Henry Card. Henry Card, <laughs> please unmute yourself and tell us why you keep doing this. We need to know. You know if you don't enjoy the show, there's lots of other events you can yeah. go to. You can go back to the campfire. Go back to your home space. No, oh, you're, you're pointing at somebody and you're wanting to go down. Is that what I get? You're campaigning? <laughs> Are you pointing? Probably pointing at me. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I think you need to go to one of my other events and work on your body yes. language skills because you're conveying these messages that you know, <laughs> really aren't good. All right, let's see here. All right, so who are we going to start with? Uh, Larry, I think let's start with uh, you. Let's start with you, Vestige. You okay. Ready? Right, I'm ready. Cool. All right, good. I'm glad to hear that you're ready. That's awesome. All right, let's see. When sharks pass each other out there in the great, you know, big blue, right, what they'll do is they'll kind of circle each other in greeting. Right. And then they move mm -hmm. on to the next, you know, their next big shark thing. Right. You know, and we're wondering, <laughs> tell us about somebody in your neighborhood that you pass by and you always wave to, but you don't really know. A homeless guy at the supermarket. Homeless yeah, guy at the supermarket. I always, yeah, how, I always pass you, by him. And always... if you don't make it tonight, how would you like them to remember you? <laughs> Remember that I gave him some money that one time when he asked okay. me for it. <laughs> I, heard, I heard Marty go off, but before that, I heard her say, That's terrible. Thanks, Marty. Appreciate your support. Okay. See, now, now, Miss Cutie, let me ask you tell us about someone in your neighborhood that you always wave to, but you don't really know. 
All right, so there's this girl in my neighborhood who rides on a skateboard. So she usually rides yeah. with her dog sitting on it. So when I see her in the window, I'd be like, hey, girl, hey. <laughs> That's it. Oh, oh cool. nice. Right. So skateboarding cute, dog person. And how would you yeah. like to remember you? She's riding on her dog? Um, as no, the... on a skateboard. <laughs> a skateboard. She's not actually riding on the dog. Attention, people. Yeah, she was just sliding okay. on the skateboard with her dog. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. The audience as... just wasn't paying attention. They were too busy talking to each other. They didn't quite catch that. No, there Aww. we go. They, they don't have they, they don't have the ability to focus sometimes. All right. So how would you like this person to remember you? As the cool neighbor who throws the parties in the backyard. Because all my neighbors oh, wow. always look okay. over my fence. Nice. How, how often are those yeah. my backyard? How often are those parties? When we have good weather. So Okay. <laughs> lately so it was sunny. Oh. If can we don't make it tonight, what's gonna happen to all those party goers? They're gonna be pretty bummed they have nowhere to go, right? Oh man. I mean they can always just remember me. I... Are you really you know right. you, you know, you're probably really should have thought about all this before oh, you come on the show. I'm just saying. All right. So I think we got enough. If you guys could turn around and face the back wall. Okay. Right, there we go. Oh, all right now, our audience, now it's your chance to decide the future of all space. I like, like it'd be so messed vote, up if they dropped the us both at the same time. Both the right. <laughs> if you want to vote for our, our Good luck, guy. Good luck, Good girl. Luck, Good luck, neighbor. Right. Now, yeah. Let's check in on him. Let's check in on neighbor. Right. Well, you guys are becoming fast friends up here. This is nice to see. I know uh, we're shame trying. Only you, <laughs> shame only one of you can make it. All right, if you support I know. the message, no, I, over it's there. all in good fun. I'm I'm yeah, ready. <laughs> no, no, we're trying to feed a shark here. It's a serious thing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, if it's my Pie time to go, you. I'm going. <laughs> all right. If you support Miss <laughs> Cutie Pie Tie, please stand behind the center <laughs> fence right there. I don't know what you people are doing over there. Pick somebody to vote for. Like standing oh, behind they're them. They're abstaining. Okay. They're abstaining. Got some people. Yeah, doing. some people are undecided. They don't want to get involved. Oh. All right, uh, yeah. this is producer. Can we get a count? Because it's looking kind of even. I think people are still moving, so I don't know. Yeah. Let's All right. Sure, your vote's clear. Okay. People are still moving. You. It's starting to become a little bit clearer. Oh, All right. Crap. Yeah, I think we got it, but it is close. All right. Oh. Ms. Producer, would you agree that uh, Buster's going to be oh. pretty okay right now? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Feel good Ms. for Cutie Buster, Pie, but I feel Let bad me tell for you, you something. I want you to focus on one of those parties, okay? But more importantly, does anybody know where you are right now? Um, my pets, I guess. <laughs> pets? You've got oh pets? God. Excuse me a second. Yeah. You guys are monsters. Guys, you see that? You guys are absolute monsters. All right. Monsters. Uh, cutie pie tie. Uh, let me, uh, hey, wait. First of all, our audience, shuffle around. Just mix it up. Let's shuffle the, all, the audience there. All right. There we go. Everybody's shuffling. Very nice. Monsters. All right, cool. All right. Yeah, there you go. You turned around to face your accusers. I think that's good. All right, everybody, turn around and let's see. All right. Now, Miss Cutie oh, Pie Tie, if you could give us... On your way out, give us a good quality scream. <laughs> You've rehearsed for this. You're prepared for this moment, right? <laughs> Nobody knows where you are except your animals, and I don't think they're going to press charges. So, Mr. Producer, if you would do the honors, please. You know, give us hey, a good scream. Hey, here we go. Here we go, everybody. Oh, oh that was wow. quality, people. Very oh, nice. Geez. All right. Uh, now, Vestige 04, it looks like you're a winner today. Right? So if you would I come can't on down believe here. it, honestly. Thank you, well, guys. Yeah, well, come on down here. If you stand right okay. where I'm standing, we're going to take your picture, and it's going to go out on our Twitter. Okay. So if you stand oh, right wow. there. Oh, wow. Okay, right, so right stand here? stand right over there. Yeah, now turn okay. around and face me. If our audience okay. can cluster together so we get a nice, good picture there. Right. And start throwing <laughs> up all those emojis, all right? So make make for a nice picture. Right. And we're going to oh. count down from three, you want me to do that two, as well? one. No. Yell at shark time. Say it, shark, shark time. Shark time. All right, it's a little quick. Nice. Keep those emojis flowing, and you can want Vestige if you want. It's up to you. Here we go. One. Okay. Go shot. There we go. All right, now, Vestige, turn around and look at the audience. Look at all those emojis streaming. Look at them flowing. Oh, Just my gosh. You. I How's feel, feel? honored. I, yeah, I'm right, actually feel, actually shocked. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> all right, now, what we're going to do now, right, is those of you that haven't seen our prize, we're going to go out and check it out. Right. But Vestige, what's going to happen is sometime tonight, you're going to get a friend request from Shark himself. Once you receive that friend request, shortly after that, you're going to receive a 12-piece world building kit. And if you haven't seen it yet, you can come out and join us to take a look at it.
Okay. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to take off the stage blockers and invite everybody up to the stage here. If you had a good time tonight and you enjoy it, Shark Time, again, please go to allviewer.com and on the bottom, click on the support link and write the admins, tell them that you enjoy the show and ask them to help us bring it back with all the special effects that we used to have because right now it's broken and we need their help to fix it. Okay. All right. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. Listen, uh, we're going to go again this Saturday at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. You'll find us in the events tab for the main menu. And if any of you are going to be around later, you swim by open night for a good time. Everybody's going to bring all their talent. They're going to sing. They're going to read poetry. It's a really nice time. Come by and see us. All right. All right, everybody. I'm going to go into this blue portal at the top of this ramp. Come on up to the stage, everybody. Nobody's doing it. All right. There we go. Everybody, come on up here. Pile on up. Cross that bridge. But be careful. Our insurance doesn't cover that. All right. Come on, everybody. Just keep on going. There we are, everybody. All right. Now, head on up that ramp into that blue light. And I'll see you all next time. My name is Michael Forrest, and thank you all for coming.